Hello everyone, here is the storyline for the episode that aired last night. In this episode, the Jong begins to suspect that Song Yi is Seran's biological daughter based on the CCTV footage she saw and the fact that Seran and Song Yi have the same blood type. Despite the evidence suggesting that Song Yi is Seran's daughter, the Jong still wants to deny it. She decides to carry out genetic tests between Seran, Song Yi, and herself. The Jong takes Song Yi's hairpin and Seran's toothbrush for the test. Before taking Seran's toothbrush, the Jong witnesses Seran cooking dinner and accidentally mentioning that the Jong had just come home from the obstetricians in front of Johan. Although the Jong doesn't react to this, she manages to control her emotions and not immediately get angry at Seran, suspecting that Seran may have switched their babies. The preview from the previous episode turned out to be just the Jong's imagination. Later, Johan talks to the Jong and she asks if there were any other words that Doksu said before his death. She wonders if Doksu said the words Song Seiyi and Song Seiyi and then mention D. The Jong immediately thinks that Doksu wanted to say that Song Yi is Saran's daughter. The genetic test result will be available in the next two days. While waiting for the results, the Jong continues with her daily routine. She also received a flash disk sent by Secretary Jack, which contains some of the same evidence she already had as well as new evidence about Saran kidnapping her. The Jong wonders who sent the flash disk, and Yohan comes to her mind. For the time being, the Jong keeps the evidence aside as she is focused on finding out about Song Yi and Saran. The night before, the genetic test results are released. The Jong and Hale have an argument. Their ongoing issue revolves around Hale not believing that the Jong loves Jaeguk. Hale even meets with Aija to inquire about the Jong and Yohan's love life. Aija, who is unaware of the truth, tells Hale that the Jong and Yohan were dating while working at Bobe Jong. What Hale hears from Aija leads her to confront the Jong, claiming that the Jong has loved Yohan since their time at Bobe Jong and that she threw Yohan away to take Hale's position. The Jong finds Hale's words increasingly outrageous. She clarifies that she never threw Yohan away because she never had a relationship with him warning Hale to choose her words carefully as the Jong is growing tired of her behavior. In the final scene of this episode, the Jong invites Saran to talk. She begins by asking if Song Yi and Saran's daughter were born in the same day. The Jong mentions that she never gave a birthday present to Saran's daughter, while Saran often gives gift to Song Yi. Additionally, the Jong wants to know if Saran's daughter is truly the Isits. Saran suddenly considers the possibility that Song Yi and Saran's daughter were born on the same day, although the chances may be low. If the true, the Jong asserts that Sang Chol is the worst father ever. The Jong also wants to know if Saran came to the hospital where the Jong gave birth seven years ago. Saran dismisses the Jong's claims as nonsense, stating that there is no reason for her to have been there since both the Jong and Saran were pregnant with Sang Chol's daughter but only the Jong receive everyone's blessing. Soran retreats to her room, panicking and questioning if the Jong knows about the baby switch. However, she convinced herself that the Jong couldn't possibly know anything. If the Jong were to find out, Soran is certain that the Jong would try to harm her. The next day, the Jong receives an email with the genetic test results and is shocked to read that she is not Song Yi's biological mother. Okay everyone, that's the scene for this time and thank you for watching my video.